Hey there, welcome back guys. Um, today this lesson is 6.1b, solving equations with variables on both sides. Uh, this lets us know that we can use the 6.1a examples to solve one through six. That YouTube video is available. If you missed it, you can go back and look for it. We are going to go ahead you can see after number six, there is an example with the worked out steps. I'm going to do example number eight. When I'm finished with that, I would like you to go back independently and see if you can work out the example A and get a matching answer. Okay, so we are solving an equation. The very first thing that I like to do is Put a line down the center of the equal sign and identify the difference between my constants and the terms that have a variable with it. A term is separated with that plus and minus sign. So there's a constant, a variable, and a constant. The reason why I like to do this is because when I have shapes, I can see that I want to put these constants together because I'm kind of, I like to think about it like equations are OCD. They want circles with circles and squares with squares. So on the right hand side, I have two circles. I'm going to put them together. This means one minus seven, which happens to be six. So I'm just going to drop down the minus three B for a second. And over here, there's nothing to put together. So I'm just also going to drop those down for a second. Minus 2, minus 2b. So now if I go back to the fact that I have constant variable equals constant minus a variable. So now what I want to do is I kind of like to look and see where my smallest variable is. That's the 3b. I want to take it over there so that all my squares are on one side and then I will come back and then I will put all my circles on the other side. So to do so, I'm going to add 3b and add 3b. So these equals zero and minus two B plus three B, that's one B. I'm just gonna drop these down for one moment. Don't forget your equal sign. And then I'm going to drop the six. These already equal zero. So I don't have to write six plus zero. But again, looking, there's constant variable constant. So I'm going to want to move the circles over here with the circles. So I'm going to plus two, plus two. These cancel out and that leaves me over here with one B is equal to eight. And that's the final answer.